from John Hughes, the mind behind all your favorite bathroom scenes. Ah! Sorry, it's real fun, isn't it? Comes a fantasy about what a teenage boy would do with a day of complete freedom. Besides the obvious. I'm not doing this for me, I'm doing it for you. Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Meet Ferris Bueller. Uh-oh. <laughs> He's White Chicago's favorite sociopath who could break the fourth wall before it was pool. It's, it's over. over. Go home. He'll use his charms to manipulate the people closest to him. You think I don't care? I know you don't care. <gasps> Until all his lies and deceit come crashing down on his best friend. Thanks anyway. He'll be fine. Join Ferris on a physically impossible tour of the city. From the stock exchange, to the art museum, to a baseball game, to a stuffy French restaurant. What is he, 90? Maybe that fan theory's right and he's just a figment of Squidward's imagination. Cars don't drive without a third wheel, so along for the ride is Cameron. Hi, Cameron. You comfortable? Hi, Sloan. No. This Eeyore in a hockey jersey is a product of his father's abuse, which is why he takes it from his best friend. Too dark? I didn't hit you. I lightly slapped you. And attempts to hide the drug addiction that has him spacing out for half the movie. Cameron, can you hear me? Plus, there's Ferris's girlfriend, Sloane. She loves Ferris, and she's a girl. He's gonna marry me. End description. What are you interested in? Nothing. Me neither. Hot on their tail is Ferris's sister, Jeannie, who's sick with a case of player hateritis, the only disease that's ever been cured by kissing Charlie Sheen. Ferris's dad, who's either deaf, high, or secretly just wants his son to have a fun senior year. And then there's Principal Rooney, in an iconic performance about being so obsessed with a minor, you risk your career, in a rare example of life, imitating art, imitating life. Ew. He's determined to humiliate Ferris by catching him in the act of having fun in the city with his girlfriend in this strange obsession with one ditcher while the rest of his school descends into anarchy. The sportos, the motorheads, geeks, sluts, bloods, wasteoids. Bloods? Like the gang? Sir, you have much bigger fish to fry. So say, oh yeah, as you take a nostalgic trip back to the John Hughes verse that returns us to our warm and fuzzy childhoods. Even though everyone was angry and mean. Hey! What a little ass. You know we've got the money, we just have to spend it. That's all, you bonehead. Why don't you put your thumb up your butt? Casually racist. You speak English? Speaking in English? And assaulting someone's dog was funny. Sleep tight, Poach. As long as you eventually got your own violent, painful comeuppance. <laughs> Wait, Ferris stitches dog that day too? Okay, screw him. I hope Cameron's dad beats him with a tire iron. Too dark? Starring A Simba Plan Ferris Wheels Friend with Benefits On Sloan from the 80s Babe Collection Baby's Day Out The Bad Guy from Howard the Duck And also Real Life Chat GED Two and a half ounces Anyone 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 it's Ben Stein. Special delivery! A person should not believe in anism. He should believe in himself. Nihilism. And when someone asks what your third favorite ska band is. Say Ferris. Say Ferris? What? Chicago White Spots. Casuals like the fan theory that Ferris is just in Cameron's head. Real fans wonder if Ferris is trapped in a time loop or if he had sex with Cameron's mom. Is your mother in the room? I'm not worried about your mother, she's in the game. Or what's up with the name distribution in his homeroom? Adams, Adamley, Adamowski, Adamson, Adler, Anderson, Bueller, Bueller, Fry, 
Six A's, one B, then straight to F? Where are the C's, D's, and E's, Ben Stein? Where do they go? Help control the pet population. Have your pet spayed or neutered. He's got the whole world in his hands. I have another surgery coming up, not because I need it, but because I like the hospital food. Kiss, kiss, love you, bye.